spilled my damn coffee getting in here without the top on my coffee. Go to Lowe's and get some coffee, right? I like the big cups. And I reuse them until they start dripping. So that happened. Oh, great. Okay. So I'm in the car, I'm about to pull off to go to the damn um, body shop. Maybe I should shoot this. Oh, man. This damn coffee. <sighs> anyway, they just called me and said, hey, hey, don't, don't, don't. Hold off. Because the, they sent the wrong part. Now, for somebody that ain't seen or know, let me make a video about every damn thing. Uh, my car ran over a deer. It broke my front spoiler. I wish my wife's car was still here. It broke the front spoiler. And they had to replace. That light ain't too bright. They had to replace this up under here, right? But on this car, with this. So they had to buy this whole front end, right? He said they just sent them this. This down here, right? See how small that is? It's supposed to be big, like the rest of it, all the way around the car. And this is a part that I want. You know, I want it back to factory spec. And I, you'll think it'd be easy, right? You just, the trim is sport touring, right? See, it's all the way around the car, right? But you didn't put one on the front. <laughs> he said they gotta find out from Honda. See? I don't, man. I don't know why they're making this so hard, man. Uh, it's another part that I said I'll buy. It's an aftermarket part that looked better than the factory part. The insurance said they'll pay for the aftermarket part. Or they'll, they'll approve it. It's up to the collision center. Collision center want to go through Honda for... I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking about calling him back. See if I can get that other part, man. That's what I'm thinking. I think it was Kyle over there. Let me call my wife and tell her what's going on. I ain't got to be at work. I ain't gotta leave this early. I don't feel like sitting in the car and all that. So let me let me see what's going on. Oh, I'm running late today because I'm uh messing with that damn Xbox. So. Should have left 17 minutes ago. <clears throat> Let me uh, put this right here. What did you do? A little 12. Make all the difference. Oh, my shoes. Oh, yeah, don't forget the Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Boom. Boom. Yeah. 
and my brother be playing uh, 2K and whatever else. Uh, all the sports. Oh, no. Xbox has been doing it all our lives. So, now we get a chance because our schedules will never read up. He got his own business. It's trucks in his shop. So, he has already he was there. So, got it in. Try to play with 2K, but they make that stuff so difficult now as far as we don't play to my career and all that. We play in uh, NBA and his settings. Like, whoever sent the invite, right? He got my settings, so I got his. You got to do all this, so we ain't had time. I play baseball. Anyway, we ain't never had time for that. You know, baseball, take a minute. We wound up boxing, and that's what he do. So he beat my ass, but I seen something about range. I was looking at the range wrong with my jab. Measuring wrong. Should have measured by hand to hand. I'm measuring my hand to his body, so that keep me within range of uh, getting hit. But anyway, I went to my career, got me a knockout. So I feel good about that. I had to, once I seen I had to go try it. Now I'm 11, 20, and we'll be getting there like regular people, right? Can't be too early on, it can be too late. That's my theory. So I get there and have to walk in and be good to do this high tempo to get in position and to take off. But this is good time for somebody else. It's late to me. But yeah, it's my attempt in my daily vlog as it unfolds. Because I always tell other people, all you got to do is just turn the camera on and start recording. Have whatever, however the day unfold. But I don't ever do it. You know, I only record in car shows, situational stuff. But I don't do no daily vlog. So, this is my attempt at the daily vlog. Made my son uh, pick up his camera or something. Anybody from that younger generation, it ain't really no age gap to this. It's open to all. Because you the star in your own movie. Ain't you? I am. Legend in my own mind. But yeah. Uh, time to check my crypto news. Turn some music on. See if I can get to the job. How I'm going to do my vlog is whenever I find myself running my mouth, turn the camera on. By 8 o'clock tonight, whenever I done gather, that's today's episode. I'm saying for real. I'll never do this. I never do this. I don't even like, I don't even like operating like this. I left my gimbal in the car. I ain't gonna be recording. I don't wanna get that comfortable at work with this camera. Get in trouble like that. But, uh. I don't never cut it this close. I'm walking all fast. I gotta get in here and punch in. Can't be too early, only to be too late. But it was worth it. Seen something. <laughs> Seen something. I go to a truck I drive all the way down there. I got a, I got a call Ray today. I ain't talked to Ray. I check on Ray. Now, let the games begin. Gimbal in the car. 
So, but just fresh on my head. And to execute this daily vlog, you got to just spit it when it comes. So, that's what else make it challenging. But I'm at my one of my stops that take an hour to load me. So, that's where I take my lunch and my break and whatever. But I'm listening to CJ, right? And I guess it's a thing going where Corey, uh, they talking about he's scamming. I don't even be clicking on that stuff. Because I be thinking that's just cap and clickbait. And if he accuses something, I don't, I don't engage in that. But I hear CJ was just talking about it. And I said, man, this is crazy how people can't see the game. You just you don't see the, the hustle. And at least how CJ doing it. It's like flipping you know, work in the street. You take your money. You invest it. You got to make your money back. Even if you get a bad package and you take a loss, you take what you got, you got to just keep working. It's working. And that's how I view CJ's raffles. He's just flipping cars. The packages and turned into cars. The value, you can do the math and come up with however much work that is. But, yeah, just flipping, flipping cars. But uh, he said something about why it's always our community, you know, black people that want to say it's a scam and I, that's what made me turn the camera on I was having my thoughts and my thought was it's, a, it's our community right it's b- growing up it's the same reason why my generation why we hustle but I, I'm pointing out my generation because it was different then because the government was involved like y'all don't understand y'all this generation y'all don't understand that shit was everywhere it was in every town, in every state. That shit was everywhere. It was so much of it. Like, if you didn't get none of this money, you was a fool. It ain't like it is now. I don't even, I don't even know how it is, but it ain't like it was, man. You can look up that uh, Reagan, uh, Condra, all that stuff with uh, the real Rick Ross, you know, Freeway Rick. Man, like, there was just so much of it. It was everywhere. But anyway, no better do better. But that's where the hustle came in, and, and the flip, and, the, and learning how to manage and run a, run the whole thing. That's where you learn that. But growing up in that type of environment with no kind of understanding or hope, right? So you're doing that just to make the money. There ain't no hope. But ghetto still hopeless because the jobs don't pay nothing. The economy going up, and people money messed up. So you're doing what you gotta do. So in that kind of community, I'm saying that instead of a race thing, because the conditions, the conditions make you feel like you got to do this and there is no hope. So when you hear about something like these raffles sound too good to be true, it can only be what? A scam. It only could be a scam. Man, it ain't ain't no way. Then the flip side of that is if it's not a scam, then for the haters, they hate that you made some money on it. You're not supposed to profit. Why would you do it? Ain't gonna profit. It's, that's stupid. But then instead, you looking at it and saying, like I call CJ the blueprint. He the blueprint on 32s. <laughs> he the blueprint because I mean, he, he tell you, he's telling you. It's like all things, right? I can tell you how to cook it. I can show you the recipe. I ain't gonna come out the same. But just like with these vlogs, right? Why CJ's uh, raffles work if I try to start one? Let's just say if I started one, right? For anything. I'm going to give away this damn hat. Anything. The difference in me and him is the consistency. And this is just some YouTube game, right? Uh, the consistency. Creating an online presence. That's why you want to do a daily vlog. If you want to see a check, if you want to. That's why I keep saying the same shit. YouTube is a network with no shows. Create a show. How I create a show? Wake up. <laughs> and that is why I'm doing these vlogs. I tell people this all the time. But then I don't do it. I go to a car show and post that because people watch that. Go this, do that. Anything to do with cars and stuff. You know how they say, it's a niche, it's a niche. You got to find your niche. Like, that's it, do that. I always tell somebody else, you ain't got to do that. Just turn the camera on. Somebody just said, oh, I'm watching the, the DoDash effect is what I call that. I'm seeing all these new channels, people ready to 
get on camera. I ain't gonna call them scared and then everybody's scared. Everybody, cause it's, you know, internet ruthless. It's like uh, kids. Be, who the meanest person on the planet? Kids, right? <laughs> you go to school, your kid get ridiculed by other kids. Kids are mean, they don't have no filter. That's the internet. So I understand why you don't want to turn the camera on, but you get on here and create a show. Your life is to show. It's like, how did you create an online presence? The same way you do in every room that you go in, right? You just be you, right? Like, I don't never have trouble making friends or being cool or just interacting in, in any room. I don't care where I'm at. So it's that's just, that's how you do this. That's how you do this. You just turn it turn it on. How do you come up with what what I'm gonna say and all this scripted thought stuff? Don't do it. Like I was thinking this, and I would be sitting here in this truck watching him, and then be thinking it. Like, oh man, you know, I would tell him this. I would say that. Turn the camera on. That's just all new for me. Just to turn the camera on. Maybe somebody here. Maybe somebody won't. Maybe somebody is click up. Maybe it don't. But you can't care about that. I'm just having fun playing with the camera. It's just fun to me. Somebody, and then create this online presence and get some back and forth. You get one, all I need is one comment. It was worth it. If you get more than that, then hell. Now you popular in the school. It's like, you know, first you the new kid, now you know people. It's one of them deals. But anyway, that was my thought. Just uh, how in the world can they... I just don't understand it, man. It's entertaining, man. The internet. It's a hell of a place. But that was just my thought, man. CJ, the blueprint on 32.